as if Charlie isn't happy after that and, and there's talk in January maybe of, of moving on, that's when presumably you'll get really concerned. Well, to be fair, my house is just burnt down. Um, the insurance, we're not covered by insurance because it was a self-inflicted thing. I mean, where do you want me to start? How bad do you want to make it? I'm glad I'm not in your shoes and, and now you've just read that to me. It doesn't work that way in my book. You know, when, when you're Ian Holloway, that glass is either half full or half empty. And for me, it's always that full. Charlie Adam is my player. I bought him, we've signed him. He's under contract, as far as I know. If he decides to be upset and unhappy, I'll deal with every mood, and he's had a few since I've been here. Certain reasons. Um, and I'll deal with them and I'll manage them as, as I've done before. Charlie has no problem with me at all. I've got no problem with him and the club won't have a problem with him. If he feels aggrieved, then he's dealing with it in the right manner and it'll get sorted one way or t'other. If he's out of contract, then we'll have to wait and see. If not, someone might have to buy him by January and it'll be a lot more than we paid for him because he's been a success. So, you know, at the end of the day, that's the way it is. And uh, unfortunately, I don't know who's put it in the paper but papers like to do those things and people pick it up and read it and unfortunately it's, it's not worth it this time. Get a bit of vinegar on it, on your chips really. That's what it's worth. We'll see next week and then we'll move on from whatever the decision is made by whoever makes that decision. In the meantime, let's talk about someone else. But just to be distracting, you could do that. We should be talking <coughs> just football. Please. Well, I am, yeah, and yeah. you're trying to drag me back to that, <laughs> which you're very good at. And I've answered it, so let's move on.